Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing some K-pop debuts that are too good to be debuts. Obviously there are amazing debuts, but these are debuts that I could see as both debuts and comebacks. Just a little disclaimer. These are just my opinions and obviously I could forget some debuts. Feel free to comment some other debuts but with that being said, let's get started. Besides Shiny's replay, this is the best K-pop debut in my opinion. When I first heard about CIX's debut I was so excited and they exceeded my expectations when Movie Star came out. There are literally no flaws with this song. Jin Young's intro is iconic and the pre-chorus is a great introduction to the chorus. On top of that, the instrumental sounds ethereal in a way. This was a perfect start to CIX a flawless discography. If I'm being honest, I didn't like this song at first, but once I started to like it, I could see why everyone loved this. The addition of Black Mamba at the end of the pre-chorus into the beginning of the chorus was genius. It was an amazing killing part. Also the post-chorus was really memorable. Espa had so much confidence and charisma in this song and they didn't even sound like rookies. SM debuts are literal perfection. <laughs> Another amazing 2019 debut. Valkyrie was a great start to the iconic debuts that would later come out that year. Similar to Mamamoo's egotistic. Valkyrie had an interesting guitar riff which was instantly notable. Valkyrie also has EDM and hip hop elements. Also, the way One Us projected their vocals gave off second and third gen vibes which was nice to hear. My favorite parts would probably be the refrains or the chorus itself. Listen, I know this is a subunit debut but this did not have to go this hard. I love every single part of this song, especially the pre-chorus and Na Young's rap after the bridge. Whenever I hear the pre-chorus of Get It, I get chills. I also like the bass and the elements of R&B. R&B is one of my favorite genres of music so it makes sense that I like this song. Even though Kristin disbanded, I wish Kristin and Kristin V had one last comeback because I need a Get It 2.0. When I first heard this, I was so surprised because obviously I have heard amazing debuts after the great debuts in 2019 but not like this one. This song came out last week and I've been listening to it non-stop. I loved this song as soon as I heard it. I especially love the pre-chorus. Another thing that I like about this song is the fact that I could see this in an action movie. I can't explain it but check out this debut because it deserves the hype. When I first heard this song, I actually thought it was a comeback like I don't know what they put in this song but it's literally comeback material. This song is so nostalgic to me even though I wasn't even a K-pop stan when this song came out. On top of that, the chorus is so catchy and I sing it whenever I hear it. This is one of the only times I will be praising JYP but this was an exceptional dance pop song. <laughs> Taemin has never disappointed, even since debut. I loved this song as soon as I heard like Taemin's vocals really came through. If danger comes on, you will hear me hollering danger in my house. Also this song is so much fun to dance to. Anyways, the intro is instantly memorable and I will know that it is danger by Taemin. I didn't really like groups with rock elements until Dreamcatcher. If I told you that I never sing to the chorus of Chase Me then I would be lying because it is so addictive. My favorite part would definitely be the chorus. If I wasn't into Dreamcatcher and you told me that this was a comeback, I would believe you because this song is on another level. <laughs> Bakhyun set the bar high because how does a debut get better than this? Thank you Bakhyun for making an album full of R&B instead of ballads. He knew that we were waiting on Dean and decided to drop this amazing album. I have no bad things to say about UN Village. The song was perfect. 
Take me back to 2019 because it gave me what I needed. GWSN never misses. Like CIX, GWSN also has a perfect discography that has started since debut. When I first heard this song in 2018, I instantly loved it. I love songs under the retro genre and this is one of them. I literally cannot choose a favorite part because I love every single part of this song. This is definitely one of my favorite debuts in K-pop. Yes, I put another subunit song in here. I don't know what was going on in my head but in 2019, I could have sworn XOSC already had music but anyways. What a life is amazing. This was a perfect song for the summer. And to top it off, what a life is so fun to sing along to. Sehun and Shan Yol's voices matched this song perfectly. I don't know how I dislike this song at first because this is amazing. All six girls have unique voices but they all fit the song perfectly. The best debut of 2020 goes to Stacy because have you guys heard this song? I love every part especially the pre-chorus, chorus, and instrumental. Fire truck. This is another amazing debut under SM. The Seventh Sense is the best debut from NCT, but there's something about Fire Truck that makes it different. Hey Chan and Teal's pre chorus and bridge are so good, and my favorite part would be the chorus or pre chorus. The raps are amazing as well, especially Mark and Yuta's rap after the first chorus. I am not This song is so good and no it's not just because I love R&B. This song was literally made for Wee Hin. Her voice fit the song so well. The chorus is so memorable and her rap was awesome. Sick K's rap was incredible as well. I'm so glad that Wee Hin does R&B because she fits it perfectly. 